guys, I'm Shelly and uh, welcome to my booktube with on TBR video that I didn't plan on making and I don't really have the energy to upload properly so I'm going to apologise straight off, very English thing to do, that the closed captions may be a little slow in coming so I'm really really sorry. Um, I really really want to join in with the booktube with on and I don't know if I can do all the editing things that I need to do to get the CCs up, so, but they will be up soon, I promise. But if you don't know what the Booktubeathon is, I will try and leave as many links as I can below to everything, but these are the books that I'm going to read this week, or try and read this week, because I really am in the place where I need to chill the hell out and calm down and just breathe and I think reading some books will do me some good hopefully so um, there are seven challenges altogether and I watched Ariel's Bessette's video last night and she reminded me that you really don't have to do all seven and you don't have to be perfect and stop trying to do everything and I'm in the place right now where my brain is just trying to do everything because my body physically can't um, and so on that note, which makes no sense, this is going to be unedited and all over the place, so I apologise. <laughs> I'm saying sorry quite a lot already. Stop saying sorry. Okay. Rule number seven, read seven books. Throwing it out the window straight away. Not going to read seven books. Not going to happen. Nope, 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 nope. I just not going to happen. Also, what is not going to happen is that I'm actually going to physically read um, most of these books. Because I'm not. They're going to be on audiobooks, so this is going to be an audio tubeathon. Um, I, I, I can't read. I'm cognitively just muddled, and my eyesight is screwy. Holding a book, uh, are you kidding me right now? Just not, not happening. So these are going to be on audio, besides one. But I'm talking again, and let's get on with the list, shall we? Yes. First book I'm going to read that was already on my TBR list, or listened to, is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. Um, I want to read more books of, of uh, diversity this year and this is LGBTQ+, because I believe the main character is either bisexual or gay. It also has diversity and ethnicity. Well, I'll try saying that ten times fast. Diversity in ethnicity, because I believe that the main character is also either Latina or Puerto Rican. The challenges that this book covers is that it has a yellow cover. It couldn't be any brighter. It's a big yellow happy smiley face. Nice one. Um, I've also discovered it through YouTube because it came in one of my Owl Crate subscriptions which I learned about through YouTube. And I do believe that quite a few booktubers that I watch, including Adriana from Perpetual Pages, and I can't remember who else, have talked about it and mentioned that they think it's good and that I would enjoy it. So I'm going to try and read it on their recommendation. So, two challenges down. Second book, I am actually going to physically read because it is so tiny or I'm going to attempt to physically read it. And that is Elizabeth Gaskell's The Old Nurse's Story, which I don't have with me right now. But it, one of the little penguin classics, you know the little ones they brought out, the tiny ones? It's one of those. I don't know what it's about, but it covers the challenge of a book that is older than I am, because it came out in, I've written it down, it was first published in 1852. That's older than me, I think. Yeah, just, just slightly. Um, it also covers the challenge of read a book by your favourite author or by one of your favourite authors, that, a book that you haven't read yet. And bearing in mind that Elizabeth Gaskell wrote Wives and Daughters and North and South and Cranford, which I love. This covers that one. And I'm also going to try and read this book after sunset, so that's another challenge. Um, we'll see if that happens. Uh, the next book, the last book, because there's only going to be three books, is The Girl in Girls in Pants. It's the third in the Sisterhood of the Travelling Pants series. 
uh, by Anne Brashears. I am already reading this because there is currently a Sisterhood of the Travelling Pants read-along going on um, covered by a bunch of people and I will link that down below. And I love the Sisters of the Travelling Pants. I read it last summer. Fell in love with it. Um, and so I'm listening to it this time around. This is the first time I've listened to it on audio. And oh, it's so good. So, so good. Um, so I'm going to carry on reading that. And we're reading the third one at the moment. And that covers the book to movie adaptation. Because I believe the third book kind of has a little bit of the second movie in it. There's two Sisters of the Travelling Pants movies and I believe that the second one doesn't run parallel with the third book but there's a bit of the third book kind of smushed in there, stuck in at the end. That's my three books, that's my challenge though. More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, The Old Nurse's Story by Elizabeth Gaskell, sorry I'm reading from down here, and Girls in Pants by Anne Pashears which is the third in the Sister of the Travelling Pants series. And that covers one, two, three, four, five, oh, six challenges. Wow, I've hit six challenges. Okay. We'll see if any of that happens. <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. All links to the booktube with Donna down below. I will try and do a TBR, uh, a, a wrap up at the end of the week. I need some sleep. I hope you guys are good and that some of this made sense. I love you all. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Comment down below if you want to have a nap. Okay. Bye. What the hell am I doing? That is not the camera, you nincompoop.